Hello there. In this particular lecture, we are going to learn about how to handle 404 pages in React Router. Well, what are these 404 pages? Well, 404 pages are shown when a user tries to go on a route that don't exist in your app, right? Normally, you define the routes, right? But if anyone goes on any such route which you have not defined, in that cases, we use these 404 pages. So, it improves the user experience by giving friendly feedback instead of a blank screen or a crashed app, right? So, we will understand that how we can create these 404 pages and how these different routes than your defined routes work with these pages. So, let's go on the Visual Studio Code and understand that how we can work with it. Let's go. So, we are on our Visual Studio Code. And as you guys can see, there is some code read already written here. So let me explain you that what I have already written here. Uh, so I have created a navbar component and I am using this React Router Dome, right? And using this browser router from the React Router Dome. Inside of this, I have used a navbar component which look like this, which look like this, right? And in below that, I am using the routes where I have defined three different route one is path one is about and one is contact in the path I'm having this home component which is from there this home right this component and similarly I'm having three different components home about and contact right okay so this is what I have created till now here is home when I click on it you can see above the about route is changed and I'm getting a new page and here I'm having contact on which it is showing me the contact page and the route is changed to contact. Now, what if I write anything else which I defined here? Let's say I am writing profile, right? And when I click on it, you can see everything is blank. Now imagine you have created a big website and anything like search happened that the user have uh, written some wrong routes. In that case, in this kind of white website or white page will give a very bad UI experience. So to resolve this, we are now going to create a no found page, right? So what we need to do for that? Well, the main part of doing this is you have to create a one more route one more route and that route path is basically a star this right just keep learning and keep taking the points and then we will take element and what will be the element well the element will be not found page right so we will create it further but let's write it down not found page this is the element right now what this path equals to star is well path equals to this star catches any wrong url that you have entered and it shows the 404 page which is a not found page now let's create a not found page so for that i'm going to the component folder and creating a file name not found not found dot jsx now inside of it i will write anything like rfc and here i'm writing a uh, let's say not found only right not found not found right so this is the page now let's import it in our app.jsx as you can see here right we have imported the not found page now if i go to my website and now if i enter any wrong url like this and put an enter you can see i'm getting a not found page where i'm having this not found is shown right i hope you get it that what i was trying to explain you so let's uh, create a not found page a little bit uh, better 
I'm not going to create a big or beautiful UI. My aim is just to explain you the concept, right? So let's create it. Uh, so whatever you will create, like uh, a div, and give it a class. Uh, let's say the class uh, items is center and padding for the padding i'm going to put 35 percent right and here in the h1 tag i'm going to write not found and i will say yeah i will say the let's say give it a class name which is what let's say uh, text is 5 xl right and provide it paragraph that says this route does end exist and let's give a link also what is this link we are getting this link from the react router so we need to import the link React Router Dome, right? And now inside this link, I will say back to home and give it a route of slash, right? This is how I created the not found page. Okay, so there is some mistake. Uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, okay. We have not put a curly bracket here, right? Now let's go on our website and re reload it. Now you can see on some random route, it is showing me the not found page. I think the padding went quite long, right? Let's give it an X. Now you can see, right? And when I click on this back to home, I came back to my home page. So this is how I handled a not found page or some random routes which user can may enter uh, which will actually disturb the ui experience of your website right so this is all for today's video i hope you understood the concept that how we are using this route and the main part was this path equals to star and putting a new element where i am using this not found component i am creating a separate not found component for every wrong route right so this is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, then make sure that you hit the like and subscribe button. We will meet in the next video with a fresh new topic. Till then, goodbye.